this region, Kyushu, is the mentaiko, which is like a spicy cod fish eggs. So this bento has it, but it also has pork, so I'm excited. And it has a little thing for your hands. And inside are different pieces of pork, fish eggs, rice, some daikon, an egg, and underneath that should be rice. Okay, this bento is a really good choice. The mentaiko here is so good. It's fresh, it's different than the frozen stuff you get. Mm, this is the marinated pork belly, the sauce. And this is just a little bit of like straight grilled pork belly with like a bit of salt. Oh, that egg is so good. The egg is a little bit of sweet because it's got the soy sauce marinade. And then this is like um, sweet, crunchy vinegar, like pickled radish. Oh, it's so yummy. I totally would get this again. final uh, two nights in Tokyo. We're here at the Hotel Umekan Tokyo. It's just across the street from Tokyo Station. Uh, it's not the biggest room but it is efficient and the location is really great. So you have a key card reader when you come in and there's a little hallway. You have a closet area where like a hanging area and a and place to like, put on your shoes. Maybe. Oh. <clears throat> Yeah, so we also had this large suitcase shipped from Disneyland. So we used um, this service called Kuro Neko, the Black Cat Delivery People, and they deliver all across the country, which is amazing. So what you do is at the hotel, you tell them what you want shipped, and they can hold it up to one week and then send it on to wherever you're staying. So we knew we were going to be traveling a lot on trains up and down and we didn't want to carry this large bag and you can't store it necessarily in lockers either because those are only available within, you know, the 12 hours or 24 hours a day. You can't keep things overnight. So you have to find another way. And so I was thinking for a long time, how do I do this? I want to bring an empty suitcase for all our souvenirs. I mean, we've amassed more in this in this bag. But what we did was just put everything in there that we knew we weren't going to use for a week. And then you just fill out a slip of a form and then they deliver it to you. And when we got here, they had already put it in our room, which is amazing. It's so nice. But I just feel like a lot of... Japanese services are super efficient. And like when we way. were at the Tokyo Stay, and then we put, you know how you can put suitcases or luggage with a hotel before you're able to Yeah, they in. hold things they for you. They hold it in a thing. At an American hotel, you go back there, you get, you retrieve your held luggage, and then you check in. But they'd already put it in the room, so we went to check in. They're like, oh yeah, your luggage. Already. It's already set, so it's so nice. So when you come in here, you have basic air conditioning, uh, you have a little desk, uh, everything you need, a little TV, the bed, this is a room for two people, so it's kind of like a business hotel, so it's uh, no frills, but they nice. They ask you if you want to pay for a few more centimeters on the width, but... I, yeah, like they did offer weird. like a, a, a no discount upgrade. on an upgrade and we were like, eh, we're only here for two nights, it's not a big deal. Um, and so we have... And what's a few centimeters? I know, it's it's, like... it's fine. <laughs> Technically, this is a queen bed, so you're, you're fine. So if you want to think about uh, space, um, in through that window is the bathroom, it's right next to it. And then you can see the doorway there, but you know, you have everything you need. It's just, everything's very compact and, and designed really efficiently. So you don't have to kind of think about where you're going. I mean, even underneath the, the way well, here, mini there's a mini fridge in that one. And if you look underneath the seating area at the front foyer, there's a, uh, a safe. And down here, actually, it's really cute. They have a shoe uh, horns and they have shoe Slipper. slippers and um, things to put, like polishing your shoes. 
Yeah, so this is the bathroom, a mummy. Um, of course, you have your um, typical Japanese toilet here. I found more and more of them have English on them, which if you're worried about that, that's fine. But otherwise, just use the pictures. They kind of tell you what it means. Um, I love all the amenities. They always give you yeah, the so much stuff. Cotton swabs. I mean, what is this stuff? This is like a cuticle coat for smooth and silky hair. Mm -hmm. I mean, they give you really, and depending on the level of hotel, they'll give you like certain things that are fancier and not fancy, but it's basically made for people who are gonna show up at the hotel with nothing and can get by on a night and hair have band. everything they need. Hair band. Yeah, hair bands, shower caps, toothbrush, toothpaste, razors. Bath salt. Ooh, bath salts, ooh. That's nice, might mm -hmm. use that. <laughs> well, um, and they have cups, hand soaps, a small little sink. And then in these hotels, usually they have kind of larger sizes of shampoo and conditioners so they can refill it, which is, it's just, just really smart actually. And the big, big tub. The tubs here are so nice. Every single tub we've seen has been a deep tub. We yeah. visited a friend, or actually we visited two friends and one has an apartment, one has a house, both of them had deep tubs. And then all the hotels you stayed at, they've all had deep tubs. So well, deep tubs are like a thing. Japanese yeah. culture, they love bathing. No, I, I appreciate that. Alan I really appreciates it. I also <laughs> like it. And also on the bed, they always give you a set of pajamas. And in this case, they give you uh, a yukata, which is like a summer summer robe, kind of, kind of home clothes when you're in here, you can relax. Um, just wear something easy and breezy. Our view isn't the, the nicest view. It's not the worst view. It's, it's not, not the it's worst not like, view. It's not like a brick wall. <laughs> down you here you down can here. see the water tower. But if you look across there, and a, you can see yeah, this concept nice. lab Tokyo. But that's a little skyline action here. Down there with the, with the strange kind of rooftop over there, that's Tokyo Station. Mm. So we're right across the street from it. Yeah. There's Which also really a 24 nice. hour family mart right downstairs outside the hotel. And if you go just like slightly down from it, there's a, a limousine bus that goes to Narita Airport. Yeah, so the reason we chose this hotel mainly was because we're going directly from here to the ho to the airport. Uh, and I wanted to make that as easy as possible because we, di we would, didn't have our JR rail passes anymore. They actually expired. This is our seventh day, so we can't use it to take the Narita Express. And if you want to take the Narita Express, it's nice, but it's also 30 bucks a person, and I don't want to spend that money. But there is a limousine bus that will take you for about 10, 15 bucks a person. Uh, and so the stop for that bus is just around the corner from this hotel, so it'll make transporting in and out really easy for us, and we just kind of want to do uh, our favorites while we're here in the last day and a half. So that way uh, we don't have to move around too much and it'll make our transition back to the airport and back on that long 11 hour flight to San Francisco. We finally made it back to Tea's Tantan Noodles. It took forever to get here yesterday. We realized we actually need to be in the pay gates to get in. So we wandered around forever. We couldn't get in. But we're back. Uh, Alan ordered the shoyu set again. He loved the gyoza. And I like the sesame tantan with gyoza set. So that's what we got. Yay! Very excited. This was by far the best meal. Yeah, and it's vegan. Everything's vegan. It's amazing. It tastes so good. And yeah, I am not a vegan. we had to eat a consolation prize meal last night because we just didn't know we had to go in the gates. Yeah. But We're back. We may even come back for dinner. Who knows? <laughs> Yay! Our food has arrived! Yay! Alan, this is the same exact thing we got last time. But Alan swears that the gyoza are the best thing ever, so... You know what? If you don't like the gyoza, I will eat your gyoza, so do the same. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna do the reverse choice. <laughs>
actually got the lemon flavor. Take it out. Okay. Oh. Put a little seal on here to let you know you must eat it by this date. Yeah, but how many of these last home, They're like the trip last. home? They're not gonna last. <laughs> like people can eat this <laughs> really quickly. So cute! Oh my god. Do you want to have the first bite? Do I eat the face? Oh. Should I eat the face? Yes. Sun store and Alan went and got a gacha pun. And these are the things you can get. And Alan, we I guess believe, we believe we that believe if you, we got if you, you can it, get another one inside. So I think he thinks he got this one, the one with capybara on capybara. That's what he's hoping. And this is the little guy he got. Let's see. And then it's supposed to what open? And you take it off the plate. Oh, you take it off the green thing. Oh yeah, oh. he comes apart. And then you open them up. Okay, slightly disturbing. Don't look. Oh yeah. And on the inside, oh, the inside <gasps> there's another so capybara. Cute. Oh, this is the one you wanted. It's exactly the one I wanted. He was really afraid he would get the other one. The this weird one alpaca one. thing yeah. or whatever that is. You got it in one. It's good. Oh, you're so cute. Oh. This doesn't come that apart. That doesn't come apart. So if you put the big one back together, and you stick them back on the green thing, and then one sits on the ears of the other. Oh, is it really sitting? Yeah, yeah. see how the ears, it, like the little, yeah. Yeah, but it's not sitting, it's falling out. Because he's not, it's not a flat surface. Oh, there we go. Uh, so cute. Hold on, let me take a picture. So, so cute. cute. Here, awkwardly next to the Japan place, but we but tried again. And this time we got purple guy. Purple. With, like, I think that's hair. I think that's hair. I think that's okay. like toupee hair. But when you open him up, he has two friends inside. Two little friends. They're like, um, I think they're prairie dogs in the storyline. He has prairie dog oh, there's, friends. There's a storyline? Yeah. Okay, I think they're, they're... It's okay, you don't have to take them out. Oh, I want to see what it looks like when you put on top though. They don't go on top. Oh, they don't go on top? No, they just go side next to him. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, God. They don't go on top. They don't go on top. What fun is that? Oh, they're each individually. Okay. I just yeah. want to see what they look like now. <laughs> they're so cute. So yeah. when you put them together, you get you purple get guy. One happy bear. <laughs> Who just has two little friends. Two friends. So this is what you get when you, just you open up. Just oh, out. he's so cute. Oh, I'm going to take a picture of this guy too.
standing on your shoulder and then I know. your head and stuff. I know. I see I don't know. It's so expensive. Does it ever get oh. I feel like it's been like three hundred dollars forever. I know. It's been like this forever. Yeah. You can't get it without tax here. That's one thing. You do the no tax form. Yeah. No, no, no. If you just uh, here, you can just show your passport. Mm -hmm. No. Should I get one? Should I get a switch? Because I really want to play this game. But we have to keep going up for tower records. <laughs> he just struggles by himself until he turns into <laughs> the weakest. <laughs> Number one, the weakest. <laughs> He's the most useless Pokemon. Aww. See the Pokemon bag. <laughs> Number one, the weakest. Okay, Alan's gonna eat his premium cream. Ooh, Taiyaki. How is it? Is it good? Let me see the inside. Whoa, it's stuffed. It's so nice. It's good. It doesn't seem very crunchy though, is it? It's not crunchy at all. It's very Because it's been sitting for a while, yeah. Oh, oh, see, number one, the jumpy in. It's good. But it's, not as, it's not as good as like, the sun. See, even po Pikachu's like, I don't know what to do with this guy. It's so sad. Mm -hmm. uh, it's number one, the weakest. Like milk chocolate pudding. Mm. Is it number one the weakest? No. So we're picking up the bus for the airport. Uh, they have a schedule and they have a waiting area over there. And we're right near our airport. 
I'll include the information down below, but it's about 10 bucks, one way. Get to the airport, takes about, it says, 85 minutes now to get there with traffic, so we'll be at the airport soon, going home. After two and a half weeks in Japan, we were ready to go home. We had so much fun, but we really kind of missed being back in California, so this ride was bittersweet. We were sad to say goodbye to all the great food, the konbini market, <laughs> the pudding, the amazing cuteness around every single corner we saw, seeing friends, watching how they live their lives there, just the amazing friendliness of all of the people we met. Uh, and I really want to go back to Japan. I was really sad to go and hopefully next time we'll get to experience a whole new different set of experiences there and I will be back.